Hey everybody, welcome to a little bit of special bonus content for Dice X Machina on the Saving Throw Show channel. Uh, I don't know if Mercury is in retrograde on the plane of Theros, but we've definitely had a couple Could of be. fun. Yeah. yeah, we've had some tech support. I, I forgot how to speak at first, then Dom accidentally opened the pack before we were recording, yeah. and then Dom didn't record. So we're having we're having a lot of fun today. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who already know this information, but if everyone else doesn't, uh, we do a special thing on the show. When we make our nightly goals, we open a pack of Magic the Gathering cards for the Theros uh, Beyond Death. I believe that's the is it Theros Beyond Death. Yes, um, that magic is correct. pack. And then uh, the cards that we come from that will inform the show. And so because the show is this week, I need to figure out what the cards are going to inform me to do. And so we have now got a couple of cards. We got a bunch of cards here. We haven't flipped the big one yet. So we're going to see what all these cards are. And we're going to see how they play into the show this week. And uh, before we begin, I just want to give another special thanks to our donors, Vampire54 and Jake with Wherewithal this week who helped push us over the top. And for everybody who tuned in, everybody who subscribed, anybody who supported the show so far this season, we are getting pretty close to the end game of the season. Mm -hmm. I think we have three episodes left. So uh, we're getting into like, you know, the questing, the penultimate showdown, and then maybe some sort of big showdown against the Archons. So we'll find out. Had some fun, had some guests. We had a recent uh, reappearance from D. That was very fun. That was uh, with that, fun. yeah. It was, yeah. Danielle was great. It was exciting to play with her again. And then the yeah. party didn't know she was going to be there until she showed up. So that was really yeah. fun. So with that out of the way, let's see what cards we have. So okay. I know these, these kind of got opened before I could look at them, but now I'm seeing them. Okay, so we yes. have so, we have Commanding Presence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I apologize for my typing. I have to take notes. We have the Human Soldier. Yeah. Which is no one in our party, so that's fun. Um yeah, so so basically on this one, uh, a creature would get uh, a bonus two, uh, plus two, plus two, uh, and first strike. And whenever it deals damage, you create a human soldier creature token. So oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, I think I can. I can think. I'm, I think we have some fun with that. Let me just put so plus two on first strike. That could be a little power up we get maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Create a human soldier. We'll just bring in a ton of guest stars. Yeah, every one of them. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Creates human soldier. Gotcha. All so right. I will. I'm not going to make human soldier be a card. That makes more sense now. Right. Great. Yes. Next card. What we got? All right. Shimmerwing Chimera. Ooh. Uh, it, ha it has flying, so it, it's oh, flying. It's and flying. at the beginning of your upkeep, return up to one other target enchantment you control to its owner's hand. Okay, um, so we can maybe like have some fun with that. Maybe it's so we have a we have a shimmering chimera. So I can look at that card if I need it again later. Shimmer, um, shimmer wing chi chimera. Shimmer wing, shimmer yeah. wing, shimmer wing. Um, and you could do something like uh, someone could get use of a spell back, maybe. Yeah, or it could maybe like a free counter spell on an enemy because you're putting the spell that you control back in their deck. Perhaps. So yeah, some, some fun there. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, you would flight, have to control. Right? You have to control the enchantment, so can't necessarily oh, yeah. be that they get their spell back. But um, if, unless you control it, yeah. but yes, yes. Well, I, was, I was thinking counter spell might be you are now controlling their magic. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, hey, maybe, maybe interpret it however you want. Really, it doesn't maybe really a matter. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. uh, Hero of the Pride. Uh, oh ooh, wow! This could Hero work. of the Pride. This is actually going to be really interesting because I. I don't know. I have two more, uh, like, I have three more kings, technically, they have to visit. We know one of those kings already is Lysandros, because he figured it out in that episode. Right. He rolled for it. But one of them is the King of Pride. Mm. And so, I don't, wanna, I don't know what that means. King of yeah. Pride. <laughs> we have a Leonin in the party. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, Hero the Pride, Cat Soldier. Whenever, what, we, what does it do? Whenever you cast a spell that targets Hero of the Pride... Creatures you control get plus one plus zero until end of turn. So, okay, so that could be a fun thing in combat where maybe uh, everybody but Callie in the group gets a plus one to their attacks, possibly. Yeah, yeah. If, or if or like, a, gets, like a bonus, she gets everybody else. Or like a bless, maybe, because there's no clerics. Oh. I don't think we have any clerics. So no, we don't. Could, up there. could be a, a bless, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, that's fun. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. It feels very apropos. Yes. Oh, we got another Chimera. Loathsome Chimera. Oh. 
Well, I feel like this game is definitely begging me to use a Chimera now. <laughs> yeah, that's that seems to be where it's going. Um, okay. Uh, escape. escape. Exile three other cards from your graveyard. Um, load some Chimera escape. So load some Chimera, something to do with an escape, something to do with a, a evasion of some sort. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a fun uh, okay. one. That's a fun one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Ooh, um, what's this one? Thirst for meaning. Oh, this is also very interesting because we have a lot of like, like uh, connections right now with uh, with Callie and with with um, the concept, like her, you know, um, right? Not not having with, Din with Dindar and like the possible connection yeah. there and poisons and stuff. So right. Uh, Thirst for meaning. Draw, draw three, three cards. cards. Sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, at the same time, draw three cards, then discard two cards, unless you discard an enchantment card. Huh. I don't know how to transfer that into D and D mechanics, but I'll think about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, you could, you could give someone a bonus action if sure. they. Give up something else. Maybe. That's a good idea. That's interesting. But yeah, maybe, or maybe you get like an extra bonus action, but you can't move or something like right, that. Right, right. Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Naiad of Hidden Coves. Uh, oh. As long as it's not your turn, spells you cast cost one less to cast. Okay, so it could be if you're using a reaction spell, you can you can use it at a lower spell slot. Uh. Uh, well, yeah, or, I mean, in, in this, in magic anyway, that would just mean that your spells are easier to cast. Um, not that they have lower power, but that they're just, you can, you know, like a, a something that takes four mana would only cost three mana. Uh, well, that's what I was thinking, like a lower spell slot. Yes. Because, like, spell slots are, like, closest thing that I think D&D &D would have to how much mana you're spending. Yeah, I could see that working. Yeah, yeah. That 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 would be that would be a fun one. Yeah, or it could use like one. You know, maybe maybe you don't use a spell slot for, if you're doing that. If you're using a reaction spell, like a mm -hmm. uh, like a hellish rebuke or a shield or something. Right, along those right. Lines. Yeah, as long as it's not a cantrip, then yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. And lastly, blight breath. Oh boy, katoble pass. Uh, uh, magic users in chat, please let us know <laughs> how to pronounce that. But uh, wherever it walks, famine follows behind. Oh, that could be. That's uh, actually really interesting because Farika is so tied into what's going on with both Kali and Zindar. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wherever it goes, creature. It, creature with an opponent controls. Okay. Based on your devotion to black, so that's so yeah, you could you could tie this into the piety rules, yeah. Um, and um, uh, it like and they could maybe have an enemy has a negative to a roll by their piety by you know by that character's piety. So oh yeah, whatever or something nice. like that maybe. I did just increase uh, Zindar's piety, mm -hmm. so that might actually make a little bit of sense there. Good call. Okay. All right. Big one? Big one. Here we go. I didn't accidentally click this before, so that's good. All right. Do you remember when last time it was a god? Yes. Oh, could it only be? Let's see. It is not. Enigmatic Incarnation Enchantment. Oh, At the beginning of your instep, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to 1, plus the sacrificed enchantment's mana value. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. you can... It's basically summon monster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll say summon monster. Big monster! Summon um, monster chimera. It must be a chimera. <laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. Yeah, I mean that um, could that could certainly be the bad guys' move. Um, yeah, you know they could they could definitely pull that out uh, uh, as a legendary action of sorts and uh, and see that. But yeah, I like that as as a as essentially um, 
you know, summon monsters what was what that sounds like to me, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's a very, uh, at the beginning of your, in your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment if you do a search for your library. Yeah, I feel like it's, that's that, that's maybe a card for me to play. As right. As a card for players to play. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I, yeah. I feel like I feel like a few of these could be used in 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 the future without necessarily like weighting things one way or another. Um, yeah. You know, you could give some to the players, some to you, and you know, there's 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 stuff there. There's meat on that bone for for you to to pick off. I think. Um, yeah, I think so. But yeah. Yeah, those all hang out. Uh, if it, uh, I'll try to get through a bunch of them this week, but if not, we'll get them to you by the end of the season for sure. Right, right. And we can always draw more uh, if we hit our goal uh, yeah. this week. So, um, yeah, we we try to fit in as many of these as we can. And I I love I love talking mechanics and bringing bringing outside influences into D D um, whenever we can. And magic just seems yeah. to be a natural fit for that. Um, you know, eventually we'll get into the Forgotten Realms <laughs> um, uh-huh. magic set, but uh, but for now we're in Theros, so it makes sense to open yeah. Theros. Uh, Theros Beyond Death is now uh, historical, so I, I, I we're not we're not you know we're going to be deep diving in there. And I do have a Kaldheim deck that I could open up as well um, uh, if we want to. We did we did bring in some Kaldheim. Uh, we did. Mechanics. I. I... I use Kaldheim as the one of the my, the idea behind that out of character, which is really fun for me, is the reason why the Kaldheim weapon is powerful against uh, Archons. Mm-hmm. Is that Kaldheim? I, I I think that like divinity is really interesting in Theros because the gods have a divinity that only is kind of a Therosian thing. It has to do with how the people on that plane believe in their gods. Right. And so my feeling was that a weapon from a different plane would not be as bound to the divinity of the gods on Theros. And so that's in my mind why, and I, like I'm sure some magical or person's like it doesn't work that way, but in my game it does. <laughs> and in my game, the idea that like something from like something really old from another world yeah. is like I don't, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have to follow your divinity at all. I'm an axe, right? So yeah. <laughs> I, that's 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 how I view it. So yeah. I thought it was really interesting lore thing to make. And I know I made Jordan and Ashlyn very happy when I knew some magic stuff. So. Right, right, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. great. So very cool. So so this was our draw. Thank, thanks again to Vampire Fifty Four and with Wherewithal who yeah. helped us get to that goal last week. Uh, and um, yeah, if you are watching this week, eight o'clock Wednesday night Pacific time on twitch.tv slash Saving Throw Show. It's another brand new Dice X Machina. I hope that you can tune in and watch because uh, it's it's exciting and you're going to see some of these cards show up. And and remember, you can help us unlock more cards. Um, to use here so thank you for watching and uh i guess we'll see you on wednesday yeah i'm excited all right bye